What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel. We're online at www.whatsupinthesky.com and asteroids are in the news lately. Um, this 2003 QQ47, um, you're looking at a little bit old, older article here. This was discovered back in 2003. Um, apparently it's a pretty big asteroid. I was on Facebook and I got a feed that came up. It said something about March 21st, end of the world. And I was like, oh man, more, more I call it uh, fear porn. I call it fear porn or murder porn or something like that. I've heard it called that before. But basically, uh, you know, you know how it goes here. People, uh, you, we get these uh, articles that come out that scare you about these asteroids. But then they tell you that, uh, you know, it only has a 1 in 900,000 chance, uh, you know, 1 in 909,000 chance of actually impacting the Earth. Uh, this thing is pretty huge, though. It's a, uh, let's see, it's two-thirds of a mile wide, and it could hit March 21st. 2014. Now this was one of the older articles I found about it, but I saw it again as I was looking through. Uh, NASA just came out with this plan. They're offering $20,000 $20, reward for software that could save the planet. So in order to save the planet, hey kitty, sorry you're not part of space news today. It's actually 35000 21, or 21,000 euros. Over the next six months, anybody who's able to develop computer code that can identify life-threatening asteroids. By mining talent from general public, the space agency hopes to spot dangerous space rocks, such as the one solved the dinosaur 66 million years ago. Uh, now, as I'm reading through this, NASA is offering up the same thing right there. The bounty is part of an asteroid data hunter contest, which plans to reduce the number of false positives found in images from ground-based telescopes. Over the past two decades, NASA has been looking for dangerous near-Earth asteroids larger than one kilometer in size and claims to have found 98% of them. I'm surprised they, oh, especially for the big ones, if it's over a kilometer in size, they're, they're pretty big. We've had some of these small ones just come flying by recently. And small, I mean, they would have done some huge damage if they would have hit us. Um, it's a lot of times we don't even know it's you know the day until they're passing. Some we didn't even find until it passed by. So, um, but as I was reading this article, where was it? Right here. And this is so. This is a new article, and this is them actually putting this out again. Um, let's say I'm on what am I on? Daily Mail. This is a UK newspaper. Scientists have warned of possible asteroid collision with Earth this month. An asteroid around two thirds of a mile wide could hit the Earth on March 21st, and has been classified as an event meriting careful monitoring by astronomers. But they say the probability of the asteroid hitting Earth is just one in 909,000. The risk of impact is likely to decrease as they collect more information. All right, so this was uh, added to this page right here, and uh, what we did, I said, all right, here it is again. I looked it up online. Okay, this was back in 2003, so it looks like they were just scaring us back then. So what I really did, I was like, you know what, let's see if this thing's actually going to hit us right here to the JPL site where you can actually see it. If you've never used this site before, it's pretty awesome. I'll leave the link below. Here we go. Let's see if my uh, page will actually do it there. Okay. So I'm following the asteroid. Right now we are at March 22nd. So let me back up a little bit. All right. Oops. I got on. Got it on play. All right. So you can set. It's pretty neat here. You can set how many days you want each one to go. Uh, what's in the center and all that good stuff. So what we're going to be looking at is here's the asteroid right here, and here's our planet Earth, and this is March 3rd. So we're going to go ahead and move up as we come along. They were saying. March 21st. So as of March 21st, look how far off we are. That's nowhere near hitting us. We are going to be safe. So don't let anybody, don't let any of these Facebook pages or Facebook posts scare you. Nothing's going to happen. See this thing is, it, it doesn't even cross our uh, our path. Like like so what was that on the uh, 30th? So it actually stayed off pretty far. I think a lot of stuff they don't really know, especially when they were, they were doing this in 2003, they were saying it. But I was in, I was really surprised that Daily Mail actually put this, uh, and there's if you search up the QQ47, there's a bunch of different articles out there and websites claiming this could be the end. But as always, you'll get the at least as much of the truth that I can tell you here. World ain't going to end. Don't take your bet. <laughs> don't call out sick. There's no need to. Much love. What's up in the sky? 37. Check out the website www.whatsupinthesky.com. I'll be back with more space news anomalies. You know it. We got it all. Later.